Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to beat the boss, the Sacred Resonance of Tenacity in Lords of the Fall in 2023. So this boss has a Umbral Parasite that you have to take out, and there was two of them the first time that I fought it, so be mindful if you take out one of them and you still have that inability to deal damage. There may be a second one there. For some reason during this attempt there was only one, I'm not sure if there's supposed to be one or two because this was only my second attempt at this boss, but yeah, you can run up to this area here to take out the second one if it appears for you. Now, this boss does deal damage to all enemies around, so I would first focus on taking out the pilgrim enemies that do range damage and just dodge them as best you can. He's going to do an attack here soon that's going to damage everything and take out all the weaker enemies up top, so you don't have to worry too much about them. And then the rest of them will be down pretty easily after he does that attack. Now, you just got to be mindful not to let it kill you because it does do a lot of damage. So he, what he does first is he's going to kneel down, power up his hammer, and he'll be imbued with holy damage. And once he does that, then he starts to hit it against his head. And you got to watch out for that. So we're likely going to see it here in a moment. Just keep picking away with whatever damage you can. Use range if you can as well because some of his attacks do hit hard. They aren't the most difficult attacks to defend upon but the issue is these mages here will attack you with their little lightning bolts or holy bolts so you got to be watching out know, for that and whenever he does his attack for the first time it works out really well because it'll clear out most of them up here you can get lucky and it'll allow you to clear uh, a couple enemies out perhaps there's also a chest up there so be mindful if you need to grab that and uh, yeah we're just going to primarily focus on the ads until he does this he powered up his hammer there now and I missed it. I think I get hit by it here in a second. So you just have to be watching him to keep away from getting hit with that damage because it comes really fast. It's almost impossible to dodge whenever he starts that windup right there. Did dodge it, but uh, yeah, it is easy to get hit with it. So be mindful. You'll encounter this enemy again later on. They do just pop around. So yeah, now that all the ads are separated from him, we can focus on fighting him without getting hit with the damage. So. He is pretty easy to dodge. I would roll to his backside whenever he's doing these attacks. You're going to get a couple extra hits in that way. And just keep dodging those heavy hammer attacks. He's pretty well telegraphed, so he will do some of these attacks too, where he powers up with holy damage and it gives it a bigger area of effect. And he'll also do that hammer head attack too. I was able to dodge it up close, but uh, be mindful that his timing on his attacks isn't 100% perfect. That's why I got hit there. And again, he's got that really large hammer attack that does a lot of damage. I have the Umbral Lamp upgrade to give me some extra damage when I perfect guard or perfect dodge against him. And he's a good one to get that dodge on. Now I find that he does take extra damage from poison for some reason. So if you have a poison weapon or poison salts, I highly recommend using them since it's gonna take his health bar down a lot quicker and you'll get him down easier. So focus on that and you should have the Sacred Resonance of Tenacity. <sighs> Should have him down in no time at all. He's a pretty easy boss, but you'll encounter him again later. Thanks so much for watching.